The all-new 2023 E-Class sits above the 2023 C-Class in the Mercedes lineup, and is therefore a little larger, more refined and, as a result, more expensive. Both models can be had as more practical estates, which are roughly £2,000 more than their saloon counterparts. There are also convertible and two-door coupe versions of both the C and E class, though these should be treated as separate cars from their saloon and estate namesakes. We'll concentrate on the saloon versions of these cars here lest this guide becomes unwieldy. Read on to find out if it's worth spending the extra. A 180-degree parking camera and wireless phone charging, amongst other goodies. With so much tech on the inside, one might forget this is actually a car. The familiar cab rearward shape of the E-Class endures, though you'll find EQ influence at the front with the gloss black panel connecting standard LED headlights. A slightly larger grille sits in the middle, outlined either in chrome or optional LED running lights. Also optional are digital lights with a projection function, and at the rear, neat LED taillights contain three-pointed star elements. Flush door handles are standard, and wheel sizes range from 18 to 21 inches. AMG Line Premium adds keyless go and an upgraded 360-degree parking camera, while the snappily titled AMG Line Night Edition Premium Plus brings gloss black wing detailing to the exterior plus a panoramic sunroof and a 13-speaker Burmester stereo. You could drive a new C-Class through the price gap between the E-Class and S-Class luxury sedans, and that's why the better Mercedes-Benz battle isn't between E and S but between C and E completely redesigned for the 2023 model year. The C-Class now offers a fresh design, new tech, and an updated powertrain. Don't count out the E-Class, though, it delivers the type of core dynamic competency no amount of digital real estate can disguise. This new model, the W214 for all you Mercedes nerds, is based on the same rear-drive architecture that underpins the C&S class sedans and the new GLC class crossover. It's a little bigger than the outgoing W213 E class, Yet a number of clever design tricks make it one of the lowest drag internal combustion sedans on the market, with a drag coefficient of 0.23. Not bad for a car with a radiator grille. Of course, with both the Mercedes C-Class and the E-Class belonging to the same family, there will be a lot of similarities in the looks of the vehicles. Notably, these similarities include the famous three-pointed badge, the powerful lines of the grille, and the sharp lines that define the body contours of the cars. If you are looking for a sleeker, more mature look, the E-Class is the way to go. It has a longer boot and cabin and appears more elegant than its sibling. If you want something that looks a bit sportier, the C-Class offers this. With more defined angles and a sculpted look overall, this offers an alternative styling that may suit your tastes. Interiors of the Mercedes E-Class versus C-Class The comfort and styling of the interiors of your car is important. You will want a car that you can enjoy spending time in, particularly if you commute or travel a great deal. The C-Class offers fantastic build quality combined with lots of great onboard tech. You can enjoy DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity as standard, with a stylish dashboard. However, the E-Class really steps up in terms of the interior, offering great luxury throughout. Again, the interior uses high-quality materials and combines this with great technology. You have the option to swap out the dials for a second infotainment screen, which does give the E-Class the superior edge when it comes to tech. There's also an optional 3D driver display that employs a stereoscopic effect. Basically, the left and right eyes see different pixels on the screen, giving a sense of depth just like those weird stereoscopic photos you have to cross your eyes to look at. And then there's the optional active ambient lighting feature that allows the soft interior LED lights to sync with music bumping on the Burmester sound system. So yeah, there's a lot happening here. Driving the Mercedes E-Class versus C-Class The C-Class matches control with comfort. 
With the fantastic suspension and light and accurate controls, it handles bumps in the road with ease. If you're after comfort on the move, the E-Class has this. With the option to pay extra and add driver pilot, which includes adaptive cruise control and electric power steering, your vehicle will be able to drive almost autonomously, though your hands do need to remain on the wheel at all times.